G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it's product review time once again. I know it's your favorite time of the week. And today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this product right here. On the menu, king size power bowl. High protein, smart carbs. I've got the butter chicken. Butter chicken served with mountain blend rice and green beans. Mountain blend? What does that even mean? Well, I guess we'll find out when we read the ingredients. But there's something else written on here. Let's see what that says. Satisfy your king size appetite with on the menu power, power balls. balls. Fill up on high protein, which helps boost muscle mass and smart carbs that releases energy slowly so you can power, power on. on. Well, I must admit, I do love to power on. And at 450 grams, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lots and lots of power in this. But let's suss out what the ingredients are. Find out what this Mountain rice is. Ugh. Right, well the ingredients, butter sauce 39%. Well that's good, it's got tomato paste and yogurt and raw sugar, spices, ginger, garlic. Cooked rice 26.5%, which is brown rice, black rice and red rice. Then there's cooked chicken 18.5% and well there's beans at 16%. So mountain rice is just a mixture of a few different coloured rices. It's a bit like the United Nations of rice. Now I wonder how many of these I can eat in one day. Well, let's see. Well at 2100 kilojoules, that means you could have like four of these a day. That's like 6% protein, 2.6% fat, 15% carbs, with about 2.2% sugar and sodium. I mean there's hardly any there. We'll probably have to add some more, actually, to make it even taste good. But we don't know that yet, do we? That's why we're going to heat it up and give it the old taste test. But first, let's take it out of its packaging and suss it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I need some power just to take it out of the packaging. Alright, well... Well, there's a bit of ice crystallization happening there from this sitting in my freezer for the last month. But anyway, it looks, well, I can't even see it. So how about we cook it up? Right, how do we do that? So you can microwave it from the fridge or from the freezer. This is from the freezer. So microwave from freezer. Remove bowl from cardboard sleeve. Well, I've done that. Place bowl into microwave. Do not pierce film. Sure thing. Heat on high at 1000 watts for 6 minutes and 30 seconds. No worries. Take out from microwave, carefully remove film and stir sauce and chicken and then return to the microwave. Consider it done. Heat on high at 1000 watts for a further 1 minute. Oh yeah. Leave stand for 2 minutes and serve. Alrighty, so. Oh good, a clean microwave. I wasn't too embarrassed then. Now. Six and a half minutes. All right. Oh, yep, yeah, still a bit frozen. Well, I hope it defrosts in the next one minute. All right. One more minute for you. All right, well, finally it's finished. Oh, wow! Look at that mountain rice! Why can't we all just get along like this mountain rice? Now, this kitchen is smelling quite a bit like butter chicken. And, well, I mean, there's plenty of chunks of chicken in here. Seems to have all defrosted by now. But does it look anything like a photo? Hmm, not too sure about that. Actually, I think I prefer this one. The sauce on this looks a bit... Well, runny and ugh. Now, something I always like to do with butter chicken is add a little bit more butter. So I'll just put a little bit on this side and I'll taste that first and make sure that it doesn't need it, but I know it will. All right, well, how about we start off with some of this multicultural rice? Looks very interesting. Hmm. Wow. It's that rice that's got really hard casings on it. You know, that chewy sort of hard sort of rice. If you're not into that, you might not like it. But, I mean, it tastes really good. And it's probably loaded with fiber and it's really good for you. But how about we try some of this chicken? Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's not a great butter chicken, but no, it still tastes all right. I wonder if mine with the extra butter will taste even better. I know it will. Mmm. Yeah. Heaps better. That's why I always love adding extra butter to these packet butter chicken things. But this is actually a pretty nice meal. And the sauce mixed in with the rice. Mmm. Man. This is good. Now it's not spicy at all and the butter chicken flavor isn't like authentically awesome, but it's not bad. It tastes pretty good. Not only is this a good size, it actually tastes pretty good and well, it's healthy as well. And man, it, it tastes good. But would I get another one of these again? Yeah, I would actually. It tastes really nice and man, this is gonna fill me up no worries, this size meal. And well, just if you do get it, just add a little extra butter to the butter chicken sauce and mate, it'll take it to the next level. Well, I hope this video helped you with your frozen food selections. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time I review something. See you then. Oh yeah.